Iditarod was definitely not without its challenges. I think if anything is going to break, it's going to happen on the Iditarod. <laughs> uh, I went through three headlamps on the Iditarod. That was special. Damn. My main, yeah, my main race lamp went out on the first run <laughs> to Squintna. <laughs> It was one of those, like, it had been on for 20 minutes, and then it just gone. And I said, okay. So it was immediately using the spare, you know, both lupines, so both really great lamps, and lost the spare on the last step going down the Happy River steps. Um, I scraped something and didn't realize that it had <laughs> come off my oh, head, and I was, like, two miles away and then went to turn it on, you know, and did one of these, like, oh, my gosh, are you kidding me right now? And uh, ironically, uh, yeah, did the gorge in the dark. Um, oh, that was special. You have like yeah. a full moon at least or something or like. What's that? You have like some a full moon or some Aurora. Or I anything? had, um, I had left, what is it? I had left the previous checkpoint. Um, rainy Pass. So I guess it was Rainy Pass and was just getting, um, I guess it was like kind of dawn, dusky light as I got to the bottom of the gorge. <laughs> so definitely did the harder, you know, the harder part in the dark. But honestly, um, you know, we amazingly made it through without incident and that was that was great um lisbeth norris actually found my gear martin boozer's gear and a bunch of other people's stuff at the bottom of that last step and so when she was uh she got into roan and i was already gone at that point and um lisa had flown out to see me oh. um in roan and she was there and Lisbeth had the light and it had my initials on it. And Lisa recognized it and she grabbed it and sent it to me. And I got it while I was on my 24 in McGrath. So I did not have to do nice. <laughs> the rest of the Iditarod in the dark, which was great. <laughs>